Hi, Allison here. I have StitchCon weekend to share with you. I had a lot of fun. I had <clears throat> frustration over getting there a day late, but um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday were well worth it. Um, before we start, I came home and yesterday's mail my prism sampler quilt block number three arrived so i'm looking forward to putting that together it's done with um jason yenter prism fabrics good old jason yenter love his work so i'll be sure to get that done as far as stitch con I thought I would simply unload my luggage with you and share with you. Let's see. I think this is just candy. Yeah. Oh, the main is here. Stitch Con, while I'm opening this, is in Sharonville, a suburb of Cincinnati, Ohio. And I heard about it through... Just Keep Stitching YouTube channel. Okay, here's my easel. Served me well. Here's a gift. One of my table mates, or two of my table mates, Bev and Sylvia gifted us little scissors. Here was our um, entry gift, a lovely felt wool bag with, it had our envelope, it had, I'll show you, there's a lovely piece in there, and a magazine. Here's my temperature stitch, which I laid out on the table, my 2022 temperature stitch with the very beautiful fancy things there. <laughs> it held up well, I guess. A bookmark that I found to stitch from the freebie table. This is the herb garden. Uh, ironically, that's what I made as my smalls was about herbs, but this is a little wee sampler. That would look good as a housewarming gift, perhaps for someone. Whilst Iris Naps. This was, I believe, a free pattern someone was walking around distributing, giving out. And it's an easy simple sampler. This is a needlework that my mom, I think you may remember, um, has this lower third completed. And um, I noticed that instead of being separate pieces of paper, this one comes as one giant fold out. So I thought it's free. <laughs> it would be nice to look at and have in case I mess up the other one or it's already put together. This is a Stony Creek portfolio of wedding, not all wedding, beautiful, beautiful pieces that I could do, but I think I picked it up for the wedding sampler there. Very pretty. This was also a freebie, and I thought it would be darling for my granddaughter, Ada. Sitting on a mushroom. It made me think of Ada because her mom, my daughter-in-law, Jessica, is growing mushrooms. This was a gift in my smalls exchange. 
red, white, and blue. This was one of my starts by Barbara Ann Designs, Oak Christmas Tree. And as a matter of fact, just today in an Amazon box, I got the silver DMC spooled thread that I needed for this. So I'll continue with that. That was a start that I made on Friday. Okay, if it's in a green bag, you know I'm guilty of buying stuff. So this is a keepsakes purchase. Let me carefully go through this. Okay. Um, this was a freebie pattern from Liz Matthews. Darling, darling. Pick that up. Stitch Con 21. So that was an, maybe an older one that she was just sharing. She had tons of copies. This I picked up also from, from 2009, the work basket. Just a pretty, what is it? A narcissus or tulip that's bowing. That was in a freebie basket. And then here's my purchase. I know in my life I already bought this at one time, but I don't know where it is. The Tudor B. So I got a piece of selvage. It's not that large to do that. And then the lady said I could have probably also fit that cross stitch band on this part, but it's real pretty. This is antique ivory, uh, 32, and um, linen. That's all I know about it. It is, I learned, Zweigart because of the orange um, salvage area. Okay, so I got that. Put all these down carefully. And for the B, I picked up what they call for on here. They give you the DMC colors, but they also give you the NPS, needlepoint silk numbers. So I went ahead and, oh, I got a blue friction pen. And I got all the NPSs. And thing of fresh bone needles. This was a gift from another one of my table mates. It is a scissor sheath. Very sweet. When you put something you bring to put on the brag table, they have you fill out a card to put beside it. They ask you for your stitcher name, the pattern, what the pattern is titled, who designed it, the fabric you stitched it on, and the thread you used, and what table you're sitting at in case somebody wants to come talk to you about it. Okay, bag one. Tissue paper that I took for wrapping my Smalls Exchange. I think I'm all good. I, oh, I have Laura Lynn's gift bag in here. Very kind. I held my stitching in this over the weekend. And then I took back my fabrics that I carefully bound up the garden stakes with my artwork in it with fabric. I thought it would be safer. So I didn't know if she would care about it. I took those back. And then this is just my wee bit of clothes, my headphones, that's it. Nothing else to talk about here. Granola bars. I don't think there's anything on this side. I think the rest of my goodies. Yeah, no, we're good. Oh, no, here's my smalls exchange. This is the one I picked up. 
It is a Christmas ornament and it says, why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. It's from um, the family Christmas with Chevy Chase. I got, a, these are not anything she gave me. These were, this was from my table mate who's from South Carolina or North Carolina. Their bird is the Cardinal. Other little treats I packed in there. She gave us the red, or the green and red. And she wrote me a note. And my table had a ball looking through. It's a tight fit. I had something in here, I don't remember what it is. Oh, Santa. So that was from her. This is a scissor fob. Very cute. That was in this box. A whole bunch of stickers from that Christmas movie. I'm sitting on them currently. The Griswolds, now, um, yeah, Griswold Christmas. Time is here. Um, this is a box of daily sayings. You can change it up. And my table mates had an absolute blast. Let's see if I get the frame out. You have this on your desk. Let's not panic. I'm not bossy, I am the boss. Ask me how to do it. Now accepting tips. Give them how. Another day in paradise. <laughs> nope. Not today, Satan. I'm just here for the free coffee. Not normal. I'd rather not. Genius at work. I do what I want. It could be worse. What fresh hell is this? My cue, my rules. Kind of feeling it today. Eh. Don't kill my vibe. WTF. Ask me about my raise. Whatever. You may approach. Walk away. Let me Google that for you. Okay, so that's that's me. This is my happy face. <laughs> Ask me about my feelings. 60% of the time, it works every time. It's better in my imagination. I'm over it. The answer is no. And then, God meeting. Okay, so I think it was Bev who was reading through those and just cracking up at so many of them. She used to be a bookkeeper for the scout um, organization in Indiana. So, oh, I didn't put my stuff back in my box. I'll do that later. Okay. And then the rest of that is just gobbledygook. Personal stuff. Done with that one. All right. And now the last one. Oh, I think I'll go in here. This was in my bag. It is um, tile for beverages. It's corked on the other side. And it is Ohio. Lovely. And it's a simple tile. Very nice. Keep it simple. 
Last year they gave us a Christmas ornament glass that we were to take the top out of and put all our trimmings from our stitching in it. Okay, I think that's it here. Oh, no. Too fresh. A stitch, a felted pinchy. And I'm not sure exactly how to use that, so I think I'm gonna ask someone for a video clip of what that's about. I've not seen that before. Okay, I've had my telephone jacks and my earphones in it. I've already unplugged that. Alrighty, besides clothes, here's my program. StitchCon 2023 Passport. An intro, who all is involved, a letter from the organizer, the LNS owner, Barbara. Notes, the daily itinerary, the times. The schedule of the Stitchy Bus over to um, Keepsakes Shop and to the Drury Hotel, which was um, considered one of their satellite regulars. And they also had um, late night stitching over there, but the bus wasn't operating at that time. So I didn't go to late night stitching for that reason. They had the annex hours, the shop at the hotel. They had all the StitchCon 2023 floss tubers, of which there are a couple pages. And there's the travel journal of Al is seen stitching. Restaurants they could recommend. Happy things to do in Cincinnati. I ran into a young lady that was at the zoo all day, I think on Saturday. And then the StitchCon um, pattern. <clears throat> okay, I know this is my One Nation I've started my One Nation flag. And I started up here at the top and I got Delaware in. So that was what I did mostly on, on Saturday after lunch. Excited about that. It's on um, Cashel Ale Linen, I think size 28 or 32. Let's see, do I have it? But it's gonna, oh, nope, that's another freebie. I'll have to share that with you. It's gonna end up looking like this. And it has the states in order of entering the union. Oh, let's see. Things people drop off at the table, lots of business cards for Etsy. This is another cute wedding sampler that was on the free table. This was my first trip to the free table. I picked up this and I picked up this. No, my second trip, because I just grabbed these two things. Darn it. Let's see, this is my bicycle. I have, oh, I have made progress. I got through his body, his chest and his back, and his head, his sunglasses. I am I almost, I'm working on his helmet. I know there is like one boo-boo here. So when I do the circle, I'm gonna have, somebody's gotta give. Here's my finish. I'm gonna make a pillow, a uh, Christmas pillow out of this, and this will be a center. I gave the pattern to my table mate, Kim. Hope she enjoys it. Took me three years, but I got that done. <laughs> it's been with me in my group of stuff to take to stitch on all three years. Oh no. Here's a keepsakes bag, what's in here? Oh, I just simply don't. A, a 
American um, Betsy Ross flag holding needle minder. I'm gonna put that on my flag. I haven't done it yet. And a stitch con button magnet. Here, this had my program in it. It had my name tag and my, my name card to put on. And then they also gave you a card to go to the book van. That was the um, fundraising we did last year to the book bus. Stitchers to the book bus. And last year she just had a bus but she laid down roots into a brick and mortar and has her bus there and she can travel out to schools and organize parks and organizations with her bus. Very good. All right, my lamp from the camper trailer. Let me put that back. Candy, my pillow. Chocolate covered raisins. What's this? Oh, fabric purchases. Okay, I know this blue was purchased to go with this. And we were all at our table, not all, but most of us at our table were gonna start this. But unfortunately, the thread pack that they thought they had ready had the wrong DMC threads in it. So they announced it and they collected them back and they're gonna send them to us. I got this pad of paper and stitch count at the top. I got this Lucy Beam Love in Stitches, the lake house. That's a lot of red house and a big flag above it and then swirls in the sky behind it. Very pretty. It's 166 by 159. It's not that ginormous. I know that this was, it wasn't like a true blue in the picture, more of an aqua blue. So I got this fabric to go with that. I don't believe I picked up the threads for it. This is the magazine that was the freebie in our bag. We also had the editor-in-chief attending, and she had a couple of chat sessions with folks. I'm sorry I missed both of them. I didn't keep track of when they were. We were just having too much fun. So this is my leftover thread. And that appears to be everything. Here's my tag, and I had my room key on the back. I should have turned that in. Here's a lovely little ornament that someone was passing. Thing out. People are just, they, you can't sell stuff there, so people just make nice things. This was a card, StitchCon, a memories, um, 2023. This is my, and I answered, third StitchCon retreat. I traveled from LAX by Allegiant Air um, on Thursday evening and arrived at 9.45, one day into stitching time. I came with four projects and I stitched on all four of them. My StitchCon start, I had two of them, the Oh Christmas Tree and One Nation. I stitched and finished my and all the trimmings from Fat Quarter Shop and I rang the bell. I wished I had remembered to bring, I, I was okay, I did not have everything. Oh, seeds, I did walk to Target, which they said, why did you walk there? This is not a walking community. Anyway, I walked to Target and got some seeds and gardening gloves to put in my smalls exchange, which I forgot to take care of while I was still at home. I stitched from the keepsake, which doesn't have to do with the LNS keepsakes, the keepsake calendar um, gardening pieces. And there were four in the calendar, but 
when I bought the garden stakes, there were only three, so I just did three. I did sage, basil, and chive. My exchange was stitched by, and I'll have to get her name out of the card, and she stitched the um, Christmas ornament from National Lampoon's The Griswold's Christmas. My biggest thrill was ringing the bell. The one surprise I experienced was um, almost forgetting about my Smalls Exchange time and I got on the bus to go over to the, oh no, the surprise experience, let me scrap that. The surprise experience was being invited by Pat Remschneider to come over for dinner before my flight. I had fun shopping for the B, Tudor B and the silks. The one word that captured my StitchCon experience is pleasure. My table mates were Renee, Sylvia, her sister Bev, no, Bev and her sister Sylvia, Christine, Linda, and Kim. So there you go. I'm not sure why I bought this white vanilla cream 32, but I'll figure it out. And of course, here are my Zoom Buddies, uh, my camping stitch glasses, which I adore. Oh, my make it and take it gift. It is a scissor fob with <coughs> 2023, a black cat, which now they have not just 319 or 320, um, named after the DMC black, that cat. They also have Connor for Stitch Con. Somebody left the cat or a kitty was just randomly and it's all black. Uh, and the bicycle, which was their um, definite. like showstopper. They had two beautiful antique bikes, one by the drop down and then one outside is just the pretty decorative entrance piece. So that's it. I had two pair of scissors left as my giveaway and that's everything. I'm done. <laughs> and now let me share with you uh, the photos and videos that I took of my adventure through StitchCon. That is going to be from, <clears throat> I don't know if I took any Thursday, but Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of just this last week. And this is StitchCon A. StitchCon B is next weekend. It's coming up. So they have another couple days to rest before another 300 participants arrive to the Sharonville Convention Center. All right. Take care. Like and subscribe if you'd like. See you soon. Bye-bye. Enjoy. I flew out of LAX on Allegiant Air nonstop to Kentucky, which is across the river from Cincinnati. And the um, Stitch Con convention took place at the convention center in Sharonville. I was a part of Stitch Con A weekend the weekend before Father's Day. This is an elevator full of wonderful ladies ready to stitch. Pat Rem brought me my Smalls Exchange, which I mailed her. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't know why that picture's there. Then we have Kim, my neighbor to the left. She had a finish and rang the bell. Yay! And then Renee, my neighbor to the right. She rang the bell for her finish. A 
view from my seat and what I was working on. I took a photo of my neighbor's future project and ordered it. And here was a table of don't talk to me or go away, I'm stitching. And it was empty forever. <laughs> it's just so ironic. Here's my beautiful table number eight. I sat between Renee and Kim. Thank you for letting me sit there. This is what we do. Jackie's got to see. I am going to take you on a tour of the brag tables, of which there were three long tables along the perimeter walls in our large convention room and just glorious pieces. So I hope you'll be patient with me and enjoy the lovely gallery walk. Such fine stitching. It looks like the long dog of flavor of stitching. I love the honey, love the sample. Rest and be thankful. Glorious. Oh, <laughs> like my fire indeed. Oh my goodness, more just super fine stitching. Love the secret button. Oh my goodness, so good. Oh, that's a confetti stitching in there. It's a handsome scooter ride. Oh my goodness, full coverage on my back. This is my temperature stitch, which I got found on Apricot Polka Dot on Etsy. I included the, the title temperature stitch and the year, and then with the various thread colors, I put the temperatures that the stitching represents. Each day I had to control of about 25 five by five little stitches. So we'd work our way around the various patterns through the year love this pumpkin. I do believe I have it, but it, I'm stitching it on black. Oh my goodness, the outfit. Beautiful fall pieces, crows, <laughs> an ornamented deer. Love it. Stitch Punks logo this year. 
Ah, nutcracker layers, just precious. Susan. Very modern. Who remembers roller derby on TV? Here you go, girls. Masterpiece. The girl with the pearl ring. Oh, so cool. A box containing. Grandmother's tree with important dates, accessory dates for the house. Stitch pine bags. More stitch pine. Beautiful. Christmas pieces. Beautiful set. Oh my goodness. House. Very cute. Intricate stitches. This has to be something in the 40s. Goodness. Poor family. Next table around the corner. This one, absolutely. A butterfly temperature stitch. Huh? Stitch on pieces, beautiful. Red birds. That's what's in topiaries. I've been meaning to come over here. Honestly, last night when I went to bed, I thought blue one is oh, so amazing. So nice. 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 During the pandemic, 
Because this is knitted or crocheted stuff as well. And curling stuff we learned, like with wool. Those are amazing. Pretty. This is so it is awesome. And then all last night, I'm always saying, I'm not worried about it. Yeah, my brain will like me up. And then, you know, I'm going to be too. I feel like, you know, it's all good. I'm so funny. I'm so funny. I'm so funny. I should have asked you, but you're on TV. And we're to the final table up front. Oh, beautiful. Oh, um, there were some I just found in the daily bathroom. Um, so if you are a table maker and you're some girls, please come to the whole room and pick them up. The same. Oh, one nation. I started it on Saturday. Delaware, way up there at the top. I did not want to start the blue one as a blue one. Beautiful welcome pineapple. Awesome. So pretty. Beautiful under the sea fairy. Oh no. Forest fairies. Sheep the sheep. I'm sorry if I'm touching your work, but I can't see them. Oh, cute Charlie Brown. Very well done. Across America. Oh, a masterpiece. The King's Crown. Boy, oh boy. That's a crown boy. I love this long dark and red. It's just awesome. Such a stage work. Oh! subject matter of what inspires us stitchers is so interesting. And the end of this last table just really brings that home. What moves us to stitch? <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
nice book. And it's in reverse. Nice bail. Amazing, amazing amounts of stitching work. Woo. Beautiful pieces back from the finishers and framers. Love some hobbies here. Hello, Mr. Reku. No? Keep these in mind for next year. We were wrapping up StitchCon. Barbara Hills, who came to the microphone and explained she had spent some time at a table. And here's lovely Pam. Enjoy you a lot. Here, of course, is Barbara. 
and Stephanie. Stephanie does so, so, so much. But Barbara, she was the source of where the idea for StitchCon came from. As it is recorded, she was sitting on her mower and came up with, we've got to come up with a something, an event that mixes stitchers with their YouTubers, floss tube heroes. She was sitting at a table and met some young ladies that were meeting for the first time at StitchCon. And she found out that one was an opera singer and she wanted to encourage her to sing. They found somebody on another table who was in musical theater and they wrote a little something up for her to Um, well, you'll probably know the tune, so I won't even say anything. Oh, please, my iPad has frozen. Really? <laughs> well, I just need to make sure I know the words we wrote. <laughs> okay. Is that How are you feeling, Pat? I'm going to miss Allison. <laughs> Thank you so much for dinner. I really, really appreciate it. And it's so nice to meet you as well, Don. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. you. An absolute thrill and pleasure to meet you, Pat Remenschneider. And thank you, Don, for having me. I appreciate you cleaning up the house to have me. But it was wonderful to meet you. Take care. That's my story. Thank you for viewing my Stitch Con 2023.